We have found the company of a beautiful girl. Hello, spotted cat. Now, I think this one is Tandy, if I am not mistaken. But if you guys feel that this could be another one just by looking at the spot pattern. And I am suggesting Tandy because I know she stole Hosanna's skill yesterday and whoever this is has got a very round belly. So, <laughs> somebody's had a good meal. Now she seems to have kept on moving, so I don't know if she's maybe following up on something or if she's hunting. But the guys have been struggling to keep up with her because she's been quite erratic in her movements. It's quite a full belly that you've got there. Whew. Carried on, and as well, just as the lions did, she also took to the termite mound, and just like we saw Tamba did yesterday, took up to the termite mound as a vantage point to be able to see. A little bit further in the distance because not the tallest animal around so let me try and keep up with her might be a little bit harder with the roof today but hey give me back my jacket um, where are you going to go now it seems like she's going to come into this open gap so I'm going to wait for a second here to see if she does indeed carry on coming this way. Hiding perfectly well. Where are you going? What are you up to? Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if she was actually in the move looking for some more food. James, you agree with me that this is Tandy, the beautiful girl? Now, I'm very happy that yesterday we had Tamba, the sun, and today we've got Tandy. What a perfect circle. Now, I saw yesterday on Chita Chita's um, page that they that Tandy actually stole Hosanna's skill. So I think that's why she's looking with a very nice big round belly, which I'm sure is very happy. But I wonder if perhaps she's just carry on looking for food or she's looking for Tamba because Tamba was left in the drainage line uh, yesterday or we left him going into the drainage line in quite a bit of a tough spot so I don't know if maybe she's looking to try and find where he is just to keep tabs or if she's just on a mission of her own because whatever it is that she's up to she's definitely busy you see she hasn't really stopped she goes on a termine mound she looks around stops again listens out hears what's around her and then carries on but I suppose the only way to find out is just to look and keep her company. Poof, there we go. She Unfortunately, we didn't see it, but she was definitely scent marking on that tree. Both male and female leopards would do it to advertise their presence in a specific territory. And she just turned around, sprayed some urine on the tree and marked this area as hers. Now, let me try and go a little bit forward. Hopefully, we'll be able to get her again. What an interesting spot you're taking us into, Tandi. Alright, let me try and get her again. John, you're wondering how Tandi and Tamba would react... Oh, there she is, right in front of us. I nearly missed her. How she would react if they, if they bumped into each other. Well, it's... Tandi would still recognize him and they would still know that they're related and they've spent all this time together and I'm sure there will be head rubbing and a greeting ceremony of sorts but she wouldn't allow him to stay with her for too long as the uh, the cubs grow older than the females and this happens well, both with male and female offspring they become more and more intolerant of their young ones and it's a way of pretty much forcing them into independence so I think they would still meet up greet each other maybe have a few moments together and they will pretty much part their own ways However, I've seen it on a handful of occasions where the young male cubs so still try to hang around close to their mothers and whenever they make a kill, they'll come in and then try to feed off that kill and just take advantage of the fact that mom is still around and can very likely provide for them, but not because she's looking to still make kills and bring them to them, but just because they know that they can. Hello! She is walking in a very difficult spot this morning, isn't she? I wonder. 
Nancy, you're wondering if she's taking over Karula's territory. Well, I think she she is definitely... We've seen her a lot more than what we used to in the past. And her and Shadow, it's almost like they've had this pact. So, Tani has been sticking more to the southern area in the Molowati, whereas Shadow has been sticking more to the western side and she's going further and further into the into Juma. So, I think they have both actually sort of moved in and started playing around because as soon as there's a gap, you will often see that um, leopards will move in. So, I think she's she's taken over a piece of it. And it's, I find it quite fitting, because I think it, at least everything stays in the family. <laughs> so, if it had to go to anyone, I think it's a good thing that it's gone to one of her daughters. Which obviously grew, around, grew up around this area, and they know this area, so they know where to go, where to hide, and where to hunt. Alright, pretty girl. I'm sorry, you don't like the roof. I'm gonna give you lots of space. All right, just like her son, she takes to termite mounds. <laughs> now we can definitely know where she got, where he got that from. If she goes on top of the termite mound, it's going to be wonderful. <laughs> Paula, you're wondering if cubs ever refuse to leave their mothers. Well, they don't do it willingly. It's not like they, once the mother starts becoming less tolerant of them, that they're happy to be on their own and not have somebody else hunt and bring them food or bring them to food. So there is always a bit of a stressful time for the cubs. And they don't, like I said, they don't do it willingly, but the mothers become, or can become quite aggressive towards them just so that they understand they're not welcome anymore. So it's always a tough time in the life of a of a leopard. Oh. So I've just got to try and direct now when someone into this sighting. Standing by. Where are you going? All right. I think I'm gonna try. Oh. Kerryong coming along the fire break. She's busy walking north, west, um, in the block. We'll try to direct you from there. Okay. I don't know where I'm gonna be able to go. Eastern side of Shibamu. She is still east from Shibamu, but she's heading slowly in that direction. We're just following her in the middle of the block. Alright, let me see where I can go. Now, I know Tandi, she likes her personal space. And sometimes, because we don't use roofs all the time, some of the creatures don't particularly enjoy seeing them too much. So I'm going to give her space so that we can enjoy her company for quite a while. Ooh, got attacked. I think while we try to follow this beautiful leopard, let's go across to Step, who's still exploring <laughs> Juma on foot. <laughs> 